Chad is going to be okay, isn't he, Dr. Russell? Well, the incision he got after the construction accident opened. How? Probably when he was saving Whitney's life after the prom boat sank. Anyway, he's feverish and he's in pain. But since he refuses to go back to the hospital... He can't afford it, Mom. Yeah, he has no insurance. I know. Anyway, what's done is done. He's here until he's fit enough to go home. Sweetheart, will you do me a favor and take off his shoes? Yeah. Wait, are you saying that Chad's going to stay in Whitney's room? Of course. Where else is he going to stay? We can't move him. I'm going to get my medical bag. You set this whole thing up, didn't you? What? Because you have feelings for him. You want Chad to stay in your room so you can sleep with him. Go ahead, Whitney. Deny it. But don't expect us to buy it. I would never just hop into bed with someone, Kay. We're not talking about someone. We're talking about Chad. Okay, you probably don't know this, but sex without love is meaningless. To sleep with a guy who doesn't respect you or want to make a commitment is just plain dumb. I repeat, we're not talking about a guy. And as far as Chad's concerned, I'm grateful to him for saving my life. That's all. We're all grateful, Whitney, but why can't he stay in my room? Maybe he will. Later. But for now, I mean, you heard Mom. It's best not to move him. That's right. He needs to remain immobile. Mom, is there anything I can do that would help? Oh, no, sweetie. But if there is, I'll let you know. I think everything's pretty much under control now. I mean, your dad went to get antibiotics and bandages from the hospital. And in the meantime, I am going to clean Chad's wound... Hello. The wharf? Another shooting? Shooting at the wharf. I'll be there in five minutes. Sure. Whitney, I want you to clean his wound. And if you have any trouble, you need anything, call me on my cell phone. Okay, Mom. I know what to do. I bet she does. Whitney can't wait to get Chad's pants off. You can't let it happen, Simone. You can't let your sister be alone with Chad. Mom, I know I didn't take all those emergency medical courses, but I know how to wash out a wound. I know you do, Simone, but I want Whitney to do it. She's had more experience. But I, I'm Chad's friend. I think I should Simone, be helping you. I don't you. have time to argue with you now. I want you and Kay to stay out of Whitney's room. But I, I just think no, that... No, no, please, let's go. Go to your room. Come on, let's go. It's okay, Chad. I'm gonna take care. It's okay, Jim. You're safe. Oh, Go ahead, Simone. Would you two please leave? Didn't you hear me? Well, I was wondering maybe if, if you'd like some ice. Thank you, but I'm using antiseptic to cool him. Looks to me like you're trying to get him hot. Well, it probably would to you, Kay. Admit it, Whitney. You're crazy about Chad. Well, you couldn't be more wrong, Kay, because I'm not in the least bit crazy about Chad. Give me a break, Whitney. I saw it with my own two eyes. You were dying to crawl in bed with him. You know, you have a mean streak a mile long, Kay. Where exactly did it come from? can't really be genetic because your parents are wonderful people. I mean, when you're the one stabbing your sister in the back? Just because you're twisted doesn't mean everyone else is. 
Now get out before I throw you out. And stay out. You too, Simone. Everything's fine, Chad. You're gonna be all right. I said to stay out. You move fast, Wit. Teresa, Chad's wound reopened and he collapsed. My mom said he's gonna be okay. He just, he just needs his rest. This could be it. Your golden opportunity. My what? In romance novels, when the hero gets hurt, the heroine nurses him back to health, and they fall in love. Teresa, my life is not a romance novel, okay? I'm just looking after him till my mom gets back. And right now, I could um, use some more gauze, so keep an eye on him till I get back, will you, please? Yes. Okay. You actually managed to tear yourself away from your boyfriend? You've got a lot of explaining to do, Whitney. No, Simone, I don't. Look, this is just Kay's ugly imagination. But you and I will talk when Chad gets better. for a big surprise when you go back up to Chad. I told him that, that he had to tell the girl that he's crazy about that he loves her. <sighs> Would you please stop trying to play matchmaker, okay? But I'm just so happy, and I want you to be happy, too. Well, I would be deliriously happy if you would just mind your own business. <sighs> what are you so amused about? Ethan came to my room tonight. What? Okay, okay, why? What happened? Well, he said he just came over to talk me out of loving him, but, but that is not the real reason. No? Okay, and what was the real reason? The truth is, he had to see me tonight because his love for me, it's really getting to him. And he's beginning to realize that he can't live without me. Mm -hmm. 